Hi, and welcome back to the Gaming on Wax. Oh, Mega, we are. We just did Verma, right? Yeah. We just did Verma. Uh, we got rid of some dead weight. Thanks to that dead weight. Look at how much space there is over there. Right, look at that. Look at fucking. There's so much more space now. In space. <laughs> the vast emptiness of space. space. It's just a little bit more space. Look at how much space Look, there is over here. Right? So much room for activities. Right? Let's, you can sit here now. You can do jumping jacks. Right? Hell yeah. Let's go talk to our crew. What's up, they are? What's up, blue cheeks? I've been thinking about Sarah. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Why? He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He's trapped mm. inside mm. his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign. But he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. We gotta mark this possess. Him across the galaxy. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control lost herself she fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of yeah the yeah yeah they all sucks and stuff anyways you want to hear about what my mom is doing <laughs> let's see like um my mother was strong. just she, like the thing she's like a uh, fucking captain a ship right now in yeah. this game right now. are you going to be okay you are kind to ask Shepard. i do miss her I miss my mom too, man. I haven't seen her in months. <laughs> right? I haven't seen her in months. I should call her. That's a good thing I can call her right now. <laughs> Anytime I want. I should go. Yeah, I'm gonna go call my mom. <laughs> There's actually a mission, a uh, little side quest we can do to actually talk to our mother in this game. We can go do that if you want. Wait, Ooh. did we go talk to Ashley yet? Ah. Uh... No, we haven't talked to anyone because this is straight up after Verma. Yeah, we just got off the phone or off the comms with the council. Yeah, so we haven't talked to anyone. Command, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrett? Forever. For being a fucking bro. <laughs> For being a fucking baller. Right? I've thought about what you said about eliminating the threat of you guarding the Dracons. You're right. But you were right about Dr. Sarah Reed, too. Killing him is the only solution. This way, we'll know we'll never hurt anyone again. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to reapply for Spectre training. It'll probably kill my father, but I've got to try. If that doesn't work, I'll do just about anything. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Sarah. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Yo, Garrus would have been a badass Spectre. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will okay, not go unnoticed. Okay, you just get yourself off there. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. He knew what the risks were. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps you will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Foreshadowing, maybe? <laughs> you have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. <laughs> That's just a completely weird thing to say. It's like, thank you so much for saving me, Commander. I don't know what would happen if 
I was able to get out. Okay, cool. Uh, what mm -hmm. do you have to sell? Uh, do you have any fucking Looking upgrades? Let's see what you bet. Oh shit, hold on. Slightly better. I completely forgot we named him Juan Pablo. <laughs> completely forgot that. We named him after Juan Pablo Montoya. Yeah. Who? What pl it was it? Is ninth. Ninth place. Yeah, you got ninth place. You got ninth place at the Indy 500 yesterday. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, damn. I could give that to Rex. Oh, damn. Okay, that's a... Did you check all the way at the bottom? What? Yeah, there's there's no upgrades or anything else. Okay, I, I, I wasn't looking. So. No. Oh damn, our our Paragon is almost full. Holy shit! And we have like a smidge of renegade. Yeah. A, a little, a little, a little tiny smidge. Yeah. A little, a little tiny smidge. Like a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little a renegade. Yeah. Hell yeah! Got the best guns in the game! Like a, a little. a little infectious <laughs> discharge. <laughs> Synthetics. Now I'm gonna keep what I have. I now have the best. the. Best guns in the game, all I'm missing is the armor. Ah, oh, fucking. Hold up. Commander. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm With my hurt. feet. <laughs> Sorry for anything I said. Earlier, I <laughs> After all, he was a really big asshole. <laughs> because, like, he's not. He's not douchebag, he's not really an asshole, at least in my opinion. He's just very fucking boring. But that boringness makes him a douchebag. Yeah, a little. Because he's arrogant. Mm, yeah. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses in the recent campaign? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember, and I'll do better for it. Uh, yeah, uh, what the fuck, what was his name? Uh, Keith? Keith? Yeah, I think it was Keith. <laughs> Fucking Keith. If only his last name was David. <laughs> Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Dismiss, Chief. <laughs> Rex will remember that. <laughs> Rex will remember that. Saren has to pay. I mean, shit, we did repay him in the third game. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. And I do! <laughs> I'm gonna <Shepard>. fuck! <laughs> Shepard. Rex? Shepard? Shepard. Shepard. What's up, baby mama? <laughs> it won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. The twist of what the conduit is, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. I mean, the fact that it's Shaira herself, <laughs> right? It's just her vagina just like opens in this enormous port like Stargate, right? 
Postal guy with the fucking cat gun. <laughs> Raven. Come here, girl. Hey, what you doing, man? Should we go back to the city? I feel like there's stuff to do with the city right now. Also, I do want to do that little side quest. We get to meet Hannah Shepard. Raven. You better not do what I think you might do. She's gonna do it. What is all this noise to, to the audience right now? <laughs> Trying to get Raven away from the computer and mic. <laughs> no, but the, like, imagine them just like no context whatsoever. All those noises. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> One too many. <laughs> Look at that, that beautiful ship. I really like the design for the Normandy, man. It's just so fucking cool. It like, it's simple yet so fucking cool. Right? Yeah. Also, the other, like, the concept art for the, for the Normandy, some of it, like, it's kind of dumb. It's really fucking stupid. Really dumb. I'm so glad that they settled on this one. That's all point of concept art. It's like come up with ideas. Yeah. Why are you taking men? So I don't really take them on a lot. I, I fucking I gotta have them around. I guess. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior Raven. atmosphere. Logged. Here, Commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I need to buy some mods specific instead of just finding them. Also, Liara still. I just want to fucking auto. I don't level you up because I don't. I rarely use you two. I don't even really care. Oh, that's good. Okay. Look. What's up? <laughs> Trying to mess with her again? Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed. With the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the I wonder who did that. Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. <laughs> if, oh my god, I remember the idea we had last time. The elevator that just goes Mach 17. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get in and immediately comes back, but there's just a... A a fucking pile of flesh. A slush. A flush. <laughs> like, uh, I don't think this elevator is safe. <laughs> and there's just like, like a Sun Yi from friggin' Boston says like, no, this elevator is 100% safe. <laughs> there is no need to worry.
are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically over Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused what? the malfunction. Was, do you not see what the fuck she was doing? Was originally designed no. <laughs> she like caressing her own body for some fucking reason. Oh, since I missed it, Finn, play that back. <laughs> God, it feels good to sprint now. Hold up. Let me go see if what's her face? The doctor. Yeah, the doctor has any. Uh, Raven. That's the armor that, mods. That is not. That's the here, up here. I never yes, Chloe. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Come on, girl. Now, is there anything you need? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Armor upgrades. Medical exoskeleton. What does this do? Okay, good for now. Oh shit! That was a lot of money. You regret that, don't you? A little bit, yeah. Raven, that's the bed sheet. Up here. Am I really just holy shit? There we go. There we go, baby. Oh, I'm sorry to get uh in here, girl. Okay, okay, I can no, Raven. level eight shit in now, here. okay. Oh yeah, now I realize why it's going through the level so quickly. Why? Because I'm playing Legendary mode. Remember the level cap is 30 in this one. Well, there goes your million. Yeah. How much was that thing anyways? I did not even see it. I just saw that the money was green, I, the numbers were green, and means I could buy it, so I bought it. Well, now you're broke. <laughs> On the upside, I get plus 3.5 health regen, toxic resistance, and cooldown of powers. I'm good. Where the fuck is- oh, here, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go down the door! <laughs> what? I don't know. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. <laughs> what the fuck would they have said if I just punched her out? <laughs> Yo, he just straight up knocked you out. <laughs> just straight up you got knocked you. the fuck out. <laughs> hey, you're the shepherd kid. Oh hey, yeah, this guy. Time, huh? I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Oh, I, I guess you don't remember me, Lieutenant Zabaleta. I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of sure. How the fuck did you even get to the Citadel? I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Hmm. Yeah. It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? How the fuck did you afford a ticket here? 
Probably gotten dropped off here. Finally. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I don't know why I'm listening to an NPC conversation. <laughs> Yeah, now let's go talk to uh, to moms. All this violence sometimes catches me by surprise. I imagine that your military training prepared you for it, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. You have to be a bitch about his shit. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, is he still a space racist? No, it's not that. I mean, it's like. I doubt any Marines training would have prepared them for that. <laughs> what do you mean? They've seen Terminator. <laughs> what? Really stupid analogy. <laughs> Shit. It's the only one that came to mind. I'm pretty sure there's another movie that that would have been like good, but the first Terminator was the first one that popped in my head. Yo, I think he was good in that armor, though. That had been taken. Good enough to bone. But not in this playthrough. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we go check this Spectre office, see if maybe he might have some stuff. Yeah, maybe see if he has some fucking mods. Or armor. I want mods. I want to fucking turn my gut into an... <laughs> Into a never let go gun. <laughs> you want to turn your gun into a fucking war crime? <laughs> I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Assault rifle, light armor, pistols, heavy armor. Onyx. Yeah, Onyx armor. That's N7 armor, but like oh, I right. said, it's like the weakest, the weakest fucking armor. Right, I forgot. Right. Has a fabrication license. I'll take it. Yeah, ain't got no. Satisfaction. They, they ain't got no fucking mods. They ain't got no fucking mods. I could probably find some in the Presidium, though. Oh, in the wards. Market. The Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. <laughs> Bam, just fucking <laughs> was that it was a cartoon that Stand made a joke off of that. I forgot what it was which one it was. Animaniacs? No, no, the, the spinning camera thing. Oh. Lord, the commanding Animaniac. <laughs> no, it wasn't They made fun of a, a director for, like, overuse of slow motion. I forgot who it was. In the Hulu one, in the Hulu reboot. Yeah, Zack Snyder. Yeah, Zack Snyder. There was, like, a scene where, they, like, a, they started using slow motion, like, Hey, Zack Snyder, get on, this is a 15-minute thing. Computer. Give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, XO Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Nindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The That's uh, Colin's background. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit ground side. Zabaleta was one of the first down. He, he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. I like how all the backstories, all the backstories are somehow interconnected. Well, yeah, they'd have to be. Yeah. 
always liked out here. We heard about corralling, uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. Who's... This is the only time we actually hear Hannah Shepard. Cause like the other time you actually speak to her like uh, it's through messages. No, isn't there like? Oh, in the city, <clears throat> in the city of the you get to talk to her. Never mind. Yeah. Fuck. There we go. What? It, it just occurred. I accidentally sent the armor I found for her. With exterior atmosphere. Logged. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I accidentally sold the armor. Commanding Fuck! Exo Presley has the deck. <laughs> what? You seem to be attracting unwanted attention, Tally. Several passerbys were staring at you. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. It is natural for people to dislike ruthless wanderers. If Quarians would just settle another home world, you would not run into such concerns. Hmm. I don't think they were looking at her bad. I think they were just looking at her ass. I mean, look at that thing. Look at her hips. Hips for days. Right? I wonder if I can... What are we doing now? Uh, going to talk to several lady again, but I think this is the guy I sold all my shit to, right? I don't think you'd be able to buy it back because you left. Right. Show me what. I'll you... open the rare stock. Damn, how many Avengers are we? Oh um, yeah, there it is. Like yeah, yeah, there, right. yeah, there we go. Uh, that's weird. Usually, it's supposed to like clear everything out. Yeah. Not the best ar looking armor, but you know, whatever. It helps her. Yeah. Let's go help Sabaleta. Sabaleta? Champagne. Attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support what? for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization. I feel like I'm not in uniform. It ever has some red. I'm just in this fucking black armor. There's some red. Many colonial proposals mm. are on hold until back to some so. reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. You ever heard of Spencer Shepard? He's always in such a fucking rush. Sprinting everywhere. <laughs> like, holy shit. Hey, Commander Shepard. Never mind. <laughs> Exogeny Corp recently released an official statement regarding their missing survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster. According to the statement, the remains of the survey team were discovered not far from their abandoned research camp. There were no survivors. That's a fucking side quest. The researchers were the victims of a random attack by raiders or mercenaries. Names will be released after next of kin are notified. Yeah, that's a fucking side quest. That's a side quest if I ever heard of one. Right. 
Seba Lita. Lita. Le whatever her goddamn name hey, is. Back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Minduar. Oh, did she? I wonder. People tie like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. Yeah, don't fuck anyone and up, We though. couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God. <laughs> All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. Hmm. That's it. That, that was that was the whole reason we were here. Yeah, that's it. Let's, we go, uh, let's go fuck shit up. <laughs> Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. <laughs> Just like <laughs> Garrett's over the shoulder. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> You wanna buy some guns? <laughs> wanna buy some guns? <laughs> wanna buy some guns? <laughs> I miss that bit from Epic Rap Battles. <laughs> that Lloyd would just come in and be like, You wanna buy some heroin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is Epic Rap Battles still going? Yeah. Shit. It's just they, they, uh, they do through Patreon, so they can't like constantly do it like mm. they used to. Right. Plus, with the pandemic, like, we probably had to slow things down a lot. I think they only released, like, three videos last year. Mm. protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be... Don't give a shit! Let's go. The Hanar are a bunch of fucking douche nozzles. The Enkindlers. The Enkindlers. They're fucking proteans. Yeah. Technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism. We could have done that. <laughs> yeah, we could have done that. It should have gone off if it's a, if I hadn't done it. Then I don't know why the fuck it went off. Because it was siphoning money. Oh yeah. So it overheated and fucking blew itself up, yeah. Stand by shore party. No, I don't want to get cleaned. I don't want to be clean. I have a feeling that has more relevance now because of Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Logged. The commanding Bitcoin officer forms. is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Yeah, but it was a fucking VI that turned itself into an AI somehow. No, it wasn't an AI. Was it? It was just programmed to protect itself. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure it was an AI. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do the fucking fall from the sky or some shit. Fine. We're gonna go to Asteroid X-57. Asgard. We better be able to do it in time. Yeah, we'll do it in fucking time. It's not that long of a mission. I think. I suppose. I'm trying to think of another word. <laughs> you assume? I assume. I theory. Theory. Fucking goddammit. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Just, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Where the fuck 
where's all the fire coming from? It's not fire, it's the like, engine. Yeah, I know the engine, but like... It... Look at that. How the fuck did you... Would you even get us like... Propellers, not propellers, fucking rockets. Big enough to move a fucking asteroid. There's no friction in space. Right, that's true. Never mind. I'm dumb. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Wait, hold up. There's someone back here? If I remember correctly, this is one of the, one of the uh, places I can get a Talia Colossus armor. I can get a few things at the end of this mission, but I can only choose one. Either heavy Colossus armor for myself. Uh, what the fuck is this? There's a few things. We'll fucking see it when we get there. G Mendel. Read. <laughs> the victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered, only to be executed by his sadistic captors. Mm. Survey Station 3, final entry. Logged by Engineer G. Mendel. The central transmission tower is on the Fritz again. No one ever listens to my warning about single points of failure. I'm surprised our service comms work half as well as they do. When Sledge? Sledge? What are the, Sledges. Whatever the fuck that name is. Shows up to relieve me. I'll go see if I can get the, the old girl back up and running. Hmm. I'll steal your shit. Logic arrest tool. Fuck. There you go. I probably could have been more useful for Liara, but you know. Fuck Liara. Yeah. Fuck what we're gonna do, and then ghost her. Yeah. Well, technically, most of the crew ghosts ghost me, considering everyone thinks you're a fucking ghost in the second game. Well, yeah. What other thing is this around here? Oh, there's something over here. Transmission tower. Uh, mass auditorium agent, uh, this. There we go. Snipper riffles. Snipper riffles. Snipper riffles. <laughs> what are those? Probably rockets. If you're being honest. They're fusion engines. No, not those. The enemy markers. The fucking rocket turrets, probably. Maybe you have to go around? Who the fuck ever heard about going around? That's dumb. You have the Mako. You're, it's basically a spider tank. That would be absolutely terrifying. <laughs> right. Is that what I mean? <laughs> the Mako is basically a spider tank, man. No, I mean like a tank operated by spiders. Oh. That would be fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it would be. You think it's just a rogue tank that you open it up and there's just a whole <laughs> bunch of fucking banana, like, banana tarantulas? Uh, it's just like all coalesced into like <laughs> a human figure. Oh god.
you read all the fucking situational prompts. Battling between transmission towers. Good enough. Let's go. <laughs> I expect nothing more from you. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, they don't open up unless you're close. I forgot about that. Use your jet. Use your jet. That's what I'm uh, gonna do. But the way you were, so you like be flipping backwards. What's up? Well, that was lame. Drive by. Gonna draw a dick on, <laughs> on your shelter. I never said it was the destruction of a lion's property. I just said destruction of property. <laughs> Civic content? There's a lot of lockers. Oh shit! But Terrians. Send your dogs to, to die. <laughs> Release the Baron. You mean the ones I already killed? Oh shit! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, look at that. You're dead. <laughs> ah, I don't know. You see that new fucking fly up when I threw the grenade into the roof? I was stretching. <laughs> oh god, it's Ziva. You fools, I have the best sniper in the game. Dear Fuck god. your god. Fuck your cover. <laughs> what the fuck? What? I bury your head of family. Good. They're next. <laughs> <laughs> That man had a family. I know. They're next. <laughs> Grenade storage. These weapons do not excite me. Your petty intel will bore me, human. I am bored. I mean, what else, what else would I... What the, why the fuck why is there a fucking tire, tire here? here? Okay, like, when... Oh, that, that's why. Because there's a fucking... This doesn't make any sense. It's still really fucking small. I mean, it has a garage door, man. You ever know that? You ever thought about that? The tire is too small for that thing. Was that you? Can you hear me? Who are you? What's going on? I just kind of caught on here because I thought it would be fun. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. Bowman. Kate Bowman. yesterday by the Terrian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? New Earth. Yeah. Good luck. God. It was the first call me. Okay. Yeah. I remember that show on Sci Fi Terra Nova. I actually liked that show. I never saw it. It was entertaining for a bit, and then I lost interest. 
But the whole premise wasn't Fuck. even that great. It was just Earth. By the way, back in time, if I remember correctly. It's, it's still, it was Earth. Yeah. The whole point of calling something Terra Nova is that it's new Earth. You look slightly better. <laughs> Let's go. People are going to laugh at you, but they're not going to be laughing when you crush in their skulls with your thigh gap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does have a thigh gap. I was about to turn back and show you, but he's just, they just did not follow me. Hey. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? It takes more than that one shot to bring me down. Sorry. I didn't even it takes a nuke, and even then. Well, I'm not much of a soldier. <laughs> it takes an exploding ship to take me down, and even then, that only just pisses me off. <laughs> takes an exploding ship, loss of oxygen, and burning in the atmosphere to take me down. <laughs> then again, it only takes two billion credits. <laughs> two trillion credits. Oh, right. My family, they live in a row with my kids. Was it trillion? Yeah, it was about two. It was two trillion credits. Oh. I don't have time to do. Holy fuck! What yeah. happens if we don't stop this rot? X fifty seven is twenty two kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. How do we know that though? Blast a thousand kilometers. It's a theory. Right, it's a th the theory is that it, they were taken out by the fucking asteroid. There's yeah. another one that was taken out by a fucking ice age, right? No, the ice age happened after the asteroid. Oh right. The climate shift, mass extinctions, the ecosystem won't recover for thousands. But it's it's a theory that it was an asteroid that took us out. That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water. Yeah, think about the surfing opportunity. Shaka, bra. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. This doesn't make any sense. The Terrians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought that the Terrians would go this far. Well, it's almost like they hate humanity. Right. The conventions only apply to council-aligned races. The Batarian government is a rogue state. The Batarians aren't stupid. They made a policy of this. The council will declare war on them. My opinion? These guys aren't backed by their government. They've got to be working on their own. We can worry about who to blame later. Yeah. I guess you're right. Is there anything else I can tell you? You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? Where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. That is weird. Like, like, it's clearly like... Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading the, the, all their faces the still look clearly like they were made in the... What was it? 2007 that this came, came out? Yeah. 2007? Like you somehow, how the fuck does the movement still look better than Andromeda's faces? <laughs> The engine. Yeah, that's true enough. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three. Yeah, because they made an entirely new engine for Andromeda, right? They used the frostbite engine. Oh, well, that's that was your fucking problem right there. Yeah, they even said it was like we have no fucking clue how to utilize this. Yeah, but they were forced to. Because the was the frostbite engine is the EA engine. Yeah, yeah. EA developed the frostbite engine for Battlefield. Yeah. You set them up. Can you disable them? Which I gotta say, like Frostbite, it's a really fucking good engine. Manual controls by the entrance to the but for RPGs, it just doesn't work. Because like the Frostbite engine was made for, with like, what was it? Uh, Battlefield in mind? Yeah, it was yeah. designed for Battlefield for yeah. first-person shooters. I know it was used in FIFA as well, but even then, that was fucking the ones that the FIFA games that used the Frostbite engine kind of got fucked as well. But like FIFA is like super simple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, even as simple as FIFA is, it still kind of got fucked occasionally. Yeah. But when you're trying to develop an RPG using the Frostbite engine, 
there are going to be some definite hurdles because it wasn't designed for yeah, role-playing right. games. Exactly. Saving Terra was more important than my team. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found there's, there's no one Kate Bowman on my team. What? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> one of my best engineers. I don't know a woman named Kate Bowman. Are you crazy? Yeah. yeah. Turns out Kate Bowman is just a fucking figment of your imagination. <laughs> you better find your It'd be like, uh, you ever seen that show Perception? No. No? I think well, I'll fuck, uh, I can't. Good luck, Shepard. Well, I mean, you kind of gave it away by asking about that show. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good show, you should watch it. More like Fight Club, you mean? Yeah, like Fight Club. Brad Pitt's just a figment of Edward Norton's imagination. Yeah. It's actually him the entire time. Yeah. Oh shit, we spoiled a, what is a 20 year old movie to someone? 25 year old. A 25 year old movie to someone? Never seen it though. It's a good movie. My brother has a book. There's a book? It was based off a book. Ah shit, dude, I gotta read that. Yeah. I mean, the whole point is like getting back at the 1%. Because there's a line in the book in the movie, it's like, we grow your food, we raise your kids, we wash your cars. We buy your stuff. We make your products. How is it that you're in control? Mm. I should read that book. Because I love the movie. It's a good fucking movie. I, 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 it, 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 I told you before, like, there are some movies that are just, like, overhyped and over-popularized that I just don't want to watch them. Yeah, you're a fucking contrarian. What? <laughs> it's fucking true. What the fuck is a contrarian? You're basically going against shit that people like. That's basically what it is. No, it's not like I'm not gonna watch this because you say it. it's like I just don't want to. Mm. Like The Godfather. I completely forgot. It's also not a good movie. I wouldn't say it's a great movie. It's not for me, but I, I do like it. Like when people say that uh, Godfather is like one of the greatest movies ever made, I'm like, okay. But I'm not. I don't want to watch it. Someone, someone came up here and straight up set up a fucking pirate radio. You know this in open text file, the person of... It's just, it's basically someone set up a pi pirate radio. Yeah. That's also a good movie. What, pirate radio? Yeah. I didn't even know that was a movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a British movie. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. It's this guy that goes to England to be part of a, a ship where there's a pirate radio. Yeah. And just a whole bunch of fucking just dumb shit goes on. We're stuck with this now. Oh, right, I forgot the service station. That was a fucking place here. Just get on with the main mission. One of the missions is to fucking find the people in the service station. Oh. Fuck! Did not mean to do that! There we go. Oh, what was it? Uh, yeah, like, uh, Citizen Kane. Yeah? I have not seen Orson Citizen Kane. Orson Welles directed, wrote and directed Citizen Kane. It's supposed to be the greatest movie of all time. I haven't seen it. Neither have I. Mm. And I'm not going to. I just haven't had a, like a fucking opportunity or a reason to watch it. Uh, Clockwork Orange. Uh, Stanley Kubrick. I don't want to watch it. There's a there's a couple of things that people like recommend to me and like I watch them. Sometimes I like it and sometimes it's just not for me. Like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I watched like two or three episodes it's funny it makes me laugh but like overall not really for me oh he did the body of severe burns and shows signs of major cause of trauma mercifully, mercifully the explosion would have killed her instantly 
Oh, someone fucking threw a grenade in here? Shit. Yeah, it's called clearing a room. Mm. Fuck. It's also what you call farting in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was it? Um... What the f- <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect flip. Perfect. <laughs> I can't- <laughs> Can't fucking talk? Oh god, what were we talking about? I don't know, you were about to say something about Clockwork Orange or some shit? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, Clockwork Orange. Uh, also based off of a book. Not really... Don't really want to watch it. That's a lot of fucking mines. <laughs> yeah, look at him. So many mines. Shit! <laughs> Reminds me of the time I almost got clocked by a golf ball. Look at look at all them mines. You just fucking explode out of nowhere. Okay, uh... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I forgot which one's the fucking route through this. Damn, I shot him in, I got him in the shoulder. Coming for you, motherfucker! Oh shit. Maybe you should stick with a sniper. Do no. nothing to me! I eat rockets for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Yeah! And sometimes a midnight mm. snack and I'm feeling a little... Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Gotta beat someone to death. <laughs> Wait, I could've just blasted this thing? Oh no, okay, never mind. It's a disarm blasting caps. Right. I thought, it, like, since it took damage, I thought I could have fucking just blasted that and disarmed it. Oh, I was wrong. Open the fucking door! Don't you throw a grenade at me? How fucking dare you?
This was a mistake. <laughs> I have no cover. Not bad at it, dude. <laughs> One thing I like is that wherever you're aiming is where the fucking grenade goes. I like sub games. Alright. I'm flanking! Shit, I'm terrible at flanking. I'm going to die. Thanks for taking your time, guys. It's not like I'm getting filled with fucking poison. Alright. Oh, shit. Thanks, Rex. Oh, no, that was Garrus. No, that was Rex. He shot them, did he? I missed the first shot. grenade on him. Hmm? He's like right over there. Eat this. Look out! Oh shit, wrong one. Where is he? What the fuck? Is he behind that barrier or something? No, I think he's below. Oh. Take this though. Vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking picture of that marine just... Vibe check. Right. <laughs> you forgot to submit your vibe report. You forgot to report to headquarters to submit your vibe report. Son of a bitch, you moved. Fire in the hole. There you go. By the way, grenades are actually heavy. Yeah. They're like five pounds. Also, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. So the fact that like in game you can just fucking lob them. Yeah. You actually can't just like lob them. You have to like go like that. Yeah. You have to kind of like put your whole shoulder into it. But again, they're model out their baseballs. Yeah. That was the whole point. Like I mean grenade like grenades, like old grenades and like bombs and stuff, they're balls because it was just convenient. But when hand grenades became a thing, they modeled them like slightly after baseballs to make them more handheld. Because it's more familiar to American soldiers. Mm. You know, baseball and all that stuff. What about the grenades that used to be like on a fucking stick? Tanner masters? Yeah. Those are Germans. Mm. It's because it'll be so easier like for them to throw. Oh. Or it's because they like, turn upside down you mash. That's and I'll start fucking mash, mashing some potato with a fucking grenade. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you stole Ashley's armor. Who's shutting down my torches? You just did. Find this problem and deal with it. I mean, if you had probably said it was commander ship, but the problem would have been like, ah, oh, shit, we gotta get the fuck out of here. This guy just murdered. This guy murdered like a thousand of us years ago. Right. We gotta kill him. <laughs> no, like uh. Yeah, there's potato mashers, there's pineapple grenades. Pineapple grenades? Yeah. The fuck is that? They're like fry grenades, but they have like ridges in them that look like, it makes it look like a pineapple. Oh. Isn't that like the generic grenade? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, a generic grenade. This is very interesting at all, but you know what? Uh, it's next episode, next time on CD Gaming Time. I told you we wouldn't finish it. It's not that long. The only reason we... I could have fucking finished this earlier. It's just that we did go to the Citadel and dicked around for a bit. 
So yeah, it's gonna be a uh, next time on game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> next time on CD Gaming. <laughs> uh, later. Yarp. Yarp.